So opportunities don't close themselves, deals don't progress by themselves. They require tasks and events by salespeople to do that. So tracking activities in Salesforce is an important feature of a dashboard. Here's an example. In this case, we are grouping the chart by salesperson by month, and we can see the number of activities that each person is conducting. And we might want to correlate that with sales performance. In this case, we can see that Dave is conducting a lot more activities than other salespeople. Obviously, the quality of activity is important, and we want to drill down to the detail of individual tasks and events to see what's taking place. But that's what the report and the chart look like. In order to get that report, I would really recommend that you do a couple of very minor bits of configuration in Salesforce. So let me show you. Here's an opportunity. And if I just click on New Task, this field here, the Type field, is not, well, not only is it not mandatory, but it's not even on the page layout by default. So make it mandatory, make it visible, make it mandatory, and add it to the page layout, and customize the pick list values suitable for your organization. So that's what's going to give you some information about the type of activities that salespeople are conducting. Second thing. The due date, again, by default, is not mandatory. Make it mandatory on the page layout so that salespeople have to fill in a date of the activity. If you don't, then very often the date, the date won't get filled in and you'll have tasks floating around in the ether and not appearing on your report. And just one final thing is there is quite a lot you can write in the subject line. So there is quite a lot you can write here and lots more to go here. And you can get quite a bit more as well. Obviously, you can fill in the comments field as well. But the advantage of getting a whole sentence in there is that when I save this task back to the opportunity, I can very often, and this will spill over into a second line if appropriate, but I can get the gist of what that was about. So if it's a meeting note, get a summary of the meeting into the subject. Don't just write meeting, get a summary of the meeting into the subject, because then I can just get the gist of that. I don't necessarily need to drill down to the underlying task. So that's an overview of how you track tasks and events in Salesforce using a report and a dashboard chart.